What is going on, everyone? It is time. VGC Money Match. Okay, we're going to get into the first game. I'm going to just, you see the teams, you see them on the screen, you know what they got. I'm just, we're just going to get right into the gameplay. So, first game, here we go Lunala and Smeargle. I think this is a dominant lead. Smeargle can redirect, Lunala can Trick Room or Tailwind. But it's also versus the Tapu Lele and a Selgor. And a Selgor, I'm not going to lie, is an absolute beast. One, because of that move, Struggle Bug. I think that's going to give um, Light's team a really hard time. Because one, if you look, most of his his heavy hitters, the Tapu Lele, the Xerneas, the Lunala, are going to have a hard time getting nerfed by that multiple times. This a Selgor has a special defense boost. And a speed boost from Unburden, meaning it's still probably going to be faster than everything. And as you can see, it just tanks that, man. It just absolutely just bodies that Lunala Z move, which is huge. Encore, oh, he's just using the Siselgor to just put in work against Light's team right now. That crit probably didn't matter. That's what you want to do is attack the defense side of that. And this Tapu Lele is just staying in, just like so fearless i don't know if mondo doesn't really care if it gets knocked out but he's just kept it in versus lunala and has just started doing damage which i love i love mondo's team because it looks like it's very fast and offensive which is my personal favorite xerneas takes a huge amount of damage this doesn't look like it is a very bulky xerneas if it's taking that much either that or this tapu lele is specs because it's it did quite a bit it did almost 70 percent just that turn one just absolutely put him in the lead, man. That was crazy. I, I totally forgot Struggle Bug <laughs> is a move until I just like lost to Excelgore multiple times. So you see a quick game one. We're gonna go ahead and we'll jump into game two now. Mono just had an absolute lead that first time. We'll see if Light can turn it around in this game two. He switches up the lead here, which I think is gonna be good. He needs to figure out a way to stop that a cell gore. I think I think there needs to be a way to get that done so that it won't keep nerfing his team. Because that struggle bug is just gonna be a real pain. Okay, so it is a Scarf Lele for sure after outspeeding that Lucario. And Scarf Lele in this meta is so good. I named my Tapu Lele Tapu Bebe because I love that Mon, especially with the Scarf. Tailwind goes up, which is going to be good because it'll be able to outspeed most of his mods, but this Acelgore is still going to be faster than everything else on Lightcore's team. Goes for the Struggle Bug again, just going to keep nerfing it, probably so that Blaziken can survive um, another turn and maybe get another speed boost to match the speed. That's what I... Okay, he switches out. He's smarter than me. I would say that's what I would do. He switches out into that Necrozma, predicting the Psy Shock into that Dawn Wings, which is not going to do anything to that Dawn Wings. And is this Trick Room or something? Okay, it is the Ultra. I can never tell. Ultra of the Necrozma is a huge threat with an amazing all around stat. Like everything is like basically over 100 with 125 speed. Tapu Lele takes that. I, I've noticed though that in this in this game too, Lightcore is doing an awesome job of rotating his Pokemon around so that um, the nerfs are getting reset to their special attack and that they're not being completely um, just dead weight to his team. Gets rid of the Ultra, which is going to be huge for his team because that looked like it could just storm through the rest of things. Like I said, see he's he's switching out he's switching out his Mons. So that the the nerfs are being reset uh lucario doesn't care about that special attack he don't care about that special attack dazzling gleam xerneas protecting if he can get rid of this excel gore then it's just gonna be blaziken versus the world yeah that excel gore has been an absolute pain this game it's just it just kept nerfing the attacks over and over and over again yo 
Okay. Okay. He goes for it. He leaves. He leaves the Xerneas alone. Is the Xerneas... Is he going to Geomancy? No, he just goes straight for damage. Gets the Aselgore out. And now... And now it's the Xerneas and the Lunala versus the Blaziken. He, he needs to Blaze. He needs to... Why? Did he think that Lunala was going to protect? If he gets rid of... Could that KO Lunala? If he gets rid of Lunala, he wins the game. I think maybe... I think maybe... I like her probably predicted that and he, he just went for the attack that was a really good move that that one turn sealed the deal that third game i mean that second game okay so it's one one last game here we go going back to yep we're going back to game one same leads what does he do here acid sprays so he's just he decides to to not even do anything about the the lunal this time and he trades the smear goal for the Tapu Lele. Okay, but this is going to be a problem though because now there's no speed on light side and the Krozma outspeeds everything. Yeah, dude. That's rough. Xerneas. I'm not going to lie guys, this game it's looking it's looking pretty bleak for light at this at this moment. Mondo made, I think that's, I think Mondo wanted the Tapu Lele to go down so he could get Necrozma out. And there was no Tailwind, which means he just needed to focus the Lunala and just blow through the rest of this team. Z move, light that burns the sky, the nuke of Pokemon. And Mondo just steamrolls, light that last game. Dang, Mondo, respect. Light core, that second game, amazing. I think I think that last call that you made of not protecting and attacking was a high high tier. Really fun games to watch. Mondo is the money match champion this time around. He wins thirty dollars, and I thank you both for playing. Uh, loved watching it. Hope everybody else did too. And we'll see you next time.